Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations and to new to all new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Well, today I decided to make pillows and spring pillows before Easter got past. I used the little bunnies from the uh, garland that came from Dollar Tree. And this pillow that I'm making, I came in a set of three. One was the light color and two were the gray striped. And I got these at TJ Maxx, they were on clearance. And I think it was like uh, $6. So on this one to hold the bunny in place, I'm putting some fabric glue and I didn't seem very happy with it because it left white spots, but it did end up clearing dry. So I decided I'm going to sew them on. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. And if, if you don't sew or you don't have a sewing machine, you can always use glue. Hot glue is wonderful. You can uh, put the bunny on and then put the pillow together and turn it right sides out. And stuff it and then glue it closed. But I decided to, since I've got a sewing machine and it's been sitting out on my dining table at the very end, decided to go ahead and try this and see how it worked. The first one I did a very small zigzag stitch and the next two I made the zigzag a little bit uh, bigger. I hope everybody's not going too nuts right now. Me, I have just got a burst of energy yesterday and the last couple of days and getting the house clean and doing some DIYs. Staying in the house, I'm immunocompromised, so I can't really go out. I'd had a liver transplant many years ago, so my system is a little bit lower on immunities. I'm making eight pillows all together and it really didn't take me too long, a few hours. It took me longer to stuff all of them than it did to make them. I didn't make any video of me stuffing them and sewing them closed. That was pretty boring, you didn't want to see that. Okay, now you can see it's on. I did use some extra glue to put that bunny tail on better. And see the white spots? I was like not happy with those, but I'm happy now because they did dry clear. And this, uh, these towels, they were 100% cotton. Oh, great.
just clipping off the corners so they'll lay nicer. And here are the gray and white striped towels. And they really are a nice material. These I didn't put bunnies on because I'm gonna leave these out all year. They're just a very nice neutral. I had already sewn the other sides. Clipping off those corners. Now this material I got at the thrift store and I really liked it because it looked like pillow ticking. It doesn't seem quite as heavy, but it's it's a nice neutral. It, I put those two bunnies on there. And now I'm trying to make some pillows out of the placemat from Dollar Tree. I'm picking out some of the thread. And I've seen people do that. That's a that's a seam ripper. And even if you don't sew, a seam ripper is wonderful to have out around. You do all kinds of things with it. And I don't know. They may have some at Dollar Tree. If not, you can pick them up real cheap anywhere, Joann's or any place. But I'd seen other people make uh, pillows out of placemats, and I thought, well, I'll try this and see, because I was always worried the back being so lightweight that you could see through it, but it turned out very nice. I was impressed, so now I'll keep my eye open for some really cute placemats. But I thought these looked so springy. We need some spring right now. All right, here's the finished pillows. And I really want to thank everybody for coming and watching my channel and for helping me to build up. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please do. Oh, that bigger one, I made uh, use two dish towels. And it came out very nice, it's very soft. So thank you again.
and you all have a very good week as we're leading up to Easter.